Hello everybody and welcome back to competitive multiplayer. So today is the big day. Our field number 2 is a cornfield and it's ready to harvest. Number 28 is sort of half there because some of it grew before the rest of it but we can we can work it now later. So number 2 is the one which we're going to be prioritising today. Such a fantastic view. I wish I could buy one of these fields down here. Oh no. Oh no, I, <laughs> I'm moving too fast. Yes, I have the... Uh, the cheats mode enabled so I could record the deep snow for survival roleplay. Um, not to worry, I just won't sprint. So, yeah, it would be nice to have one of these fields. It really would. But I am trying to save it for 41. Not too sure if it's worth it because that's 344 and that is. Where are we? 229. Anyway, yes, we must get a combine harvester. So as you'll probably know if you watched the previous episode, I sold the Combine and we're just going to rent a bigger one. And I think this is just going to be the best way of doing things because it's just so much cheaper this way. We're going to have to buy the header because otherwise I'll have too many things rented. But the Lexian seems to be pretty amazing. Uh, now we don't want to have the same machine, so what does Chainsaw have? I don't, I don't think I can see. He is about to appear on this track. Let's just see. There he is. Oh, he's sticking with the same combine. Unless he is selling it, but no, he's going the wrong way. Yes. So yes, we're going to go with the big Lexian. Let me just sort things out, and we'll go and pick it up. And there we go. So because I have uh, leased the combine, it means that I couldn't lease this as well. Since I already had a baler on lease. And I'm going to keep that on lease because it just is it's perfect. It's, it's really good. Um, so yeah, I've had to buy this at £79,000. But it will pay off, certainly. Because today we are going to be baling corn stalks. The first time I've ever done it. Really looking forward to it. This is part of the Straw Me mod, so if you're interested in doing it yourself, if you go into Mod Hub and type in Straw Me, or one word, you will find the fantastic Straw Enhancer, uh, expander, whatever you want to call it. Basically, you can get straw out of more crops other than the standard wheat, barley, and oats. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to try not to sprint. Um, yeah, I need a header as well. Header trailer. We need to get a header trailer. It is the one. Yeah, that one there. The one which is designed for the corn header. There we go. So I just need to. Uh, I'll just do this off screen, get it all attached. There we go, brilliant. So it's going to be the usual thing where I go around the headland a few times first and then we can put it onto a worker, I can continue bailing. Oh, hello car. Just typical. I know, it wasn't my right of way. But there's usually such a gap between vehicles you just hope you're going to get out before another one turns up. Let's get some beacons going. Yes, I don't know if Chainsaw is uh, doing a bit of straw me as well. I would imagine he is. But it's probably the first time he's used it in one of his videos, I'm not too sure. Uh, but it is definitely something to uh, to consider. You can make so much more money out of the same crop. I guess another thing I could do, once I've harvested this field, is I could sell it and buy another field somewhere else. I know it makes sense to keep this one because it's just so local to our farm, or what is going to be our farm, um, but we don't have to keep it. I could go somewhere else as well. Let me know. Post down below. That would be very much appreciated. And thank you to everybody's suggestions overall. I always get many different suggestions. Right, so we also need to get a tractor and trailer. I'll get that sorted out. I have no idea how quickly the combine's going to fill up. Usually, whenever I do corn, I always say, oh, it's not going to fill up very quickly. And then it does, so who knows. This could be fun. I know it is big for this map. But of course, a bigger header, bigger combine, means less time harvesting. We're in. Okay, I, I just can't avoid driving in the crop this time around, which is a bit of a shame. Well, it would be if we had crop destruction on. But it's still, it doesn't look good. I always try and avoid it if I can do. 
You're right, this is satisfying. Love doing this. It's been a while since I've seen it happen. That's great. That really is good. Uh, also, the combine will unfold that. Need to make sure we have got straw swath enabled. And we'll make a start. I've not even seen what the corn stalks look like. Hmm. They look like corn stalks. <laughs> that makes sense. Right, so how quickly are we filling up? Not super fast, but it's still pretty good. I think, for the first time in a very long time, we're going to make a fairly substantial amount of money out of corn. Yep, it's a good size header. This is perfect. I'll just make sure I didn't lease anything else accidentally. No, I didn't. Good. I'll keep going until we're full. And as soon as we are full, I'll go and grab a trailer. And, yeah. Depending on where we are in the field, we'll either continue removing the headland or we'll, um, we'll put it onto a worker. So let's crack on. I've just realised, since the combine has such a large tank, uh, it's probably going to overfill our trailer in one go, so I think it probably is about time we did upgrade the trailer. Almost full anyway. 99 and... 100. 18,000 litres. Right, so here we are with the Matty Ferguson. I don't need this trailer yet, but we do need it today. We're going to be picking up those, uh, those corn bales, which I'm really looking forward to. The prices for corn are just incredible as well. Uh, and the trailer is somewhere, somewhere lurking. I don't know exactly where, but it must be in here. There it is. Okay, good. It is currently being blocked by the good old Ursus. I'm a big fan of this tractor. I wish there were more jobs for it, but yeah, it's only really used when it comes to uh, transporting seed and other pallets. Eventually, when I move out to the other farm, Chainsaw's going to have this whole shed to himself, so that's pretty good. I saw somebody complaining about my mess. How dare you complain about my mess? I'm on my side. Right, <laughs> I am trying my best to move. Um, yeah, let's get that trailer put onto the back of here, and we will um, we'll check the capacity, and we'll most likely replace it. 16,500. So yes, from empty, it would overfill it. It all comes down to the price of a brand new Roland trailer which I should probably look at off camera because there seems to be quite a variety although that's pretty good that's amazing uh, I think we could tow it uh, that, that's, that is more suitable oh, okay that's for probably silage 26 51 I'm going to think logically here that's 36 too. Yeah, it is. It's 36 because if you have 51, it's with the. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure they're for silage. I might be wrong about that. Yeah, it looks like silage to me, but. Don't know. Really don't know. I think it would still work. Right, so additional lights with. Yeah, we'll go with. Very happy with standard. It's fine. Okay. 68, 620. Let's go and take this to the sell point and we'll get some money back for this. I should probably fill it up still. It just depends where the sell point is for the corn. If it is in a place very close to the uh, the store, then we could take a load, but it might not be. I think usually it is that sell point which is down near the seafront. 
in which case it is worth taking a full load. But I will check. Yep. It is the same place, United Grain. And before anybody says anything, I know that the trailer is too big for the tractor. It will be too big for it. But eventually we'll be getting a bigger tractor. And it was it should still be able to do it. It should still be able to pull it. Because this Massey Ferguson is a beast. Okay. They're quite big swaths actually. If we had a, a header which was any bigger, there'd be way too much straw coming out of the back. This is just gonna fill immediately. And we're going to sell this the whole lot. It is a bit of a shame. I do like this trailer. I really do. It's a good trailer. But we just can't really afford to have both. Okay, so here we are at the store, causing chaos. I've just realised that trailer is actually only worth £12,000. I think that's worth more to keep. So now I'm going to have to come back for it. But we have the new one. Yeah, it's in the way, isn't it? There we go. Right, let's get this harvest underway with a worker, and then I can get the baler going. But at least we now don't have to uh, spend as much time going backwards and forwards with our higher capacity trailer. It's going to come in handy. And since we have a bigger tractor, it will be perfect because we, we shouldn't have this tractor on it. Okay, so I'm just going to get this back on a worker. It's difficult to choose when to have the time lapses really, because it's all similar. But that is all part of it. So yeah, we're just cracking on with the baling, it's all looking really good. Getting plenty of bales out of it. I am wondering why that has just stopped. I probably didn't enable a worker. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering if we should have an auto stacker. I think it would be a good idea. Really wish I could disable that cheats mode. You have to do it before you launch the game. Um, yeah, so I think if the price is right, the Arcus in Auto Stacker could be worthwhile. Only because these bells are worth so much. I still need to check the price for them, which I would do. Current price is 722 for every 1,000 litres. 
I think I might have gone down. But obviously, it's still incredibly good. There's 6,000 litres in every bale. 722 pounds for every 1,000 litres. Oh, wow. Hard to believe, really. Anyway, I did do a little bit of tidying up of the mist corn over there, but we do need to go back again once the combine is finished here. It's almost finished. And I think I will keep the combine on lease. It will be quite expensive to do that, but, but I'll have to try and calculate if it is worth doing. It's £25,000 as an initial cost, so it depends what it is per day when it's not being used. I think it would end up being cheaper to keep it, but yeah. As I said, we'll have to uh, do the calculation. Uh, right, so yeah, we've just got a few swaths here to do and then get all that wrapped up over there. Then it would be time to pick up the bales, and I still need to have a good think about whether the Arkeys in order to stack it is worth it. it. It's obviously easier, much easier. I would like to get it, because we do so many bales. There are quite a few bales here, so yeah, we will see. Right, the final swath with the exception of the piece which hasn't been harvested yet. I wish I could see how many bells we've created. It seems like a lot. And yeah, you really wouldn't want to have a bigger header because we're already going up onto the swath which we are <laughs> bailing. Corn stalks must just be really bulky. This is a very tall crop, I suppose. Back in the business seat. Very luxurious, very expensive, but worth it. £25,000 to uh, rent for today. Oh, not to mention the hourly fees. Yeah, it is worth it though, because I'll be here all day with the other combine. And I own the header, at least I can say that. Proud owner of a combine's header. So we're going to fit. It is. Good. So I'll get that belled as well. And yeah, let's just go into the baling technology section. Take a look at the RQC and Auto Stacker. We also have the 4 stack actually. That, that could be a, a consideration. It only stacks them though. You can't take them out of the field with this. 70,000. Can't lease it. So... Uh, 16 bells. Maybe then. Maybe just the four stack. But I would still have to put them onto the trailer with the front loader. But it would definitely speed things up. And it would make things neater as well. Because that's what I struggle with the most. Making it neat. The Heston bells are fine. But the quadrants are, in my opinion, a bit more tricky. But it doesn't have to be perfect, as long as they get to the sell point safely. But there really are quite a few bells here. Crikey. Oh, I realise there's a bit of corn being missed over there. It is a tough one. It really is. Because I'm trying to save up for the new piece of land. But then we could make a fortune out of this. Okay. Empty. Impressive. Very, very impressive. Yeah, I'm going to go and get the uh, the auto stacker. I think it'd be a good idea. We need to also sell the corn and we need to bring the other trailer back. But that's not vital. I can bring the other trailer back anytime. We also have that field to harvest, but that'll be for the next episode because it would just be a very fast job. Yeah. We can afford it, it will be worthwhile. Because at the end of this episode you're going to see how much money we make from corn stalk bales, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed.
Can't wait to move into the other yard. We'll just have more space to ourselves. And we don't have to worry about blocking each other in. This is 91% full, so I don't know if we're going to be able to get the rest into there or not. I'm hoping we are going to be able to. There's not too much in the combine. Back up a bit. Fill in the gaps. Okay, so yeah, we do still have 29% in the combine harvester. But we'll get this sold to begin with. I will recheck the price. Love the strobe. That looks fantastic. Uh, recheck the price for corn. Ooh, coastal exports is now the top. That's really changed. Where is coastal exports? Ah, okay. Yep, that's actually closer. That's good. Except it's in the wrong direction for the uh, the auto stacker, but that's fine because it's not even possible to pick it up with the trailer on the back, and it's pulling it fine. It really is towing this trailer with ease. Still too heavy for it though. You can feel it pushing. It's a nice bright load. Golden. That's where it fills it. So what would I want to get in instead of this one? I think probably stick with Massey Ferguson. But just obviously a bigger model, but maybe not necessarily newer. Just wondering if there is a an older model which we could get. The 6480 I think is about the same. Yeah, there's not a huge choice of all the Massey Ferguson's in this game. So we probably have to go for like 77, 26 or something. Right. That went up at a very impressive rate. Wow. Forty-eight seven two six. And now for the bales which will also be coming to the same yard. So that keeps it nice and easy. Where's Chainsaw? He's in the yard. Yeah, I don't know how many viewers actually watch Chainsaw's videos as well. There are quite a few things which would be interesting to, to learn in this video. Firstly, what you think we should do with the field. Should we sell it? Or should we, uh, should we keep that same field? Also, do you watch Chainsaw's videos? The uh, the multiplayer ones. And what was the other thing I asked for? Something earlier? I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, always asking for people to comment about stuff down below. I do read your comments. The majority. The ones which are posted during the night in the UK, they're the tough ones because they get hidden because of all the others that come in during the morning. I'll drop the trailer off. We'll empty the combine with the other trailer but I really want to prioritise doing the bales. It's just getting too congested in this yard for two of us, so I'm going to put this in the silage pit, as we do have one. It's quite empty round here. There we go. Yeah, it's a good place. I think I have to move quite a few of my things to the outside. We'll park them in here. And now, let's go and get that auto stacker. We'll go this back way through the tunnel of trees. Seventy thousand. But we will recover that in no time.
I've got the bell pusher, so which is really required. It's going to be handy. Uh, also, the trailer's here. We can deal with that another time. So, let's take this first load to the cell point. Quite interesting, actually. Looks like we have a, a toolbox integrated into the front of this. That's, that's quite nice. Very handy. It's probably also like a front weight as well. 16 bales at a time. You can get more on a trailer, but it's slower. Well, once we know how much we're getting per load, I'll just time up the rest of it being cleared. We can see the money come piling in. And then we'll know how much we have to spend in the next episode. Will we be able to buy the farm? Well, I call it a farm. A yard with one field, but despite this, still it will still be a very good purchase. Okay, I don't know exactly where the marker is. I have interactive markers switched off. So I'll just put it there. It's good. 69,363. It's, it's just unbelievable. This is why I'm doing it. This is going to be very interesting. How much will we have at the end of the episode? That's quite a good guessing game. Have a guess. Before we get to the stage where we have got a final figure for today, where do you think we're going to be? I'm thinking close to 350 to 400,000. We will see. I might have been getting a bit overexcited with the pricing. But nonetheless, it's still going to be very impressive. So that's 15. We do have space for one more if I have missed one. I don't know. I don't think I have missed one. But if I have, then we can just sell it next time. So yeah, 15 more bales. That's going to be £60,000, roughly. But still a very good figure. We could never have got that much out of just wheat straw or oat straw or barley straw. But we mustn't forget, we've got all this field to do as well. Yeah, no point taking the uh, the corn out of the combine yet because it's just going to be taken next time anyway. With the rest of that field. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so we're still going to get all this in the next episode. Probably one and a half full auto stack of loads. Uh, so 270, 773 in total. If you said that, well done. Um, yeah, if you said 250 to 300, still very good. Uh, 65,028. Amazing. So we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.